Hello everyone, the doctor is in, and um, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Revenge of the Fallen Dirge. Um, I just picked him up recently and I'm very impressed uh, with this figure um, for a Revenge of the Fallen figure. That's very, very cool and it pays uh, homage to G1 Dirge. Um, and I have G1 Dirge here for comparison. Um, not really comparison, you can't compare to this, but um, just to show you the differences. The G1 Dirge is slightly longer. Um, the the colors are are, are similar. Um, the pattern uh, are slightly different. Obviously, the wings are gold on G1. Um, they're gold and blue here on Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, we do have the missiles underneath the wings, uh, which are removable as well. So, um, get on to um, this, this figure here. Um, small features on here, as I said, we have the wings, uh, the missiles under here and the, and the launchers that do fire. Um, and we have the cockpit that does open. Um, and there's a little, little chair in there. Um, and the landing gear, which does fold up, which is the first part of the transformation. Uh, we'll also need to remove these missile launchers from under the wings. Um, and then the first thing we'll do is kind of just separate um, these these parts here, uh, just unpeg them, uh, which will allow us to um, fold them down. And what I usually do is grab these two pieces underneath, um, and that will fold each side down. And you want to put lock that those two halves that I've in the middle um, together. There we go. Um, then what we'll do is we'll just fold these. These will become the robot legs. We'll fold those down. Um, and next thing, um, we will rotate these 90 degrees this way on either side. Um, the feet back here have a very cool way to transform. Um, you flip them, flip them out like that, and then rotate them 90 to, or 180 degrees on both sides. So once again, we'll just kind of flip it out and then rotate 180. Um, then we'll get these these wings pieces. Um, you just kind of want to get them um, rotated back, um, and also they're on a little hinge back there. If you can see that little black piece, um, it was up here, and we'll just kind of rotate it down here. Um, and then you want to rotate the wings um, kind of like that. Um, same thing on this side. See if you can get a better view. Um, kind of flip it down and then rotate the wing around so that when you're looking at it from the front they are like that. Uh, one last little minor thing um, you just want to extend the leg a little bit. There we go sides there so we have the legs taken care of and the feet come back on the top here there's these two little uh, uh, panels you flip them out and then we can rotate this tail um, back out of the way um, and you also want to take this piece here and if you notice on that piece it actually looks like a cockpit um, and that's because this will become the chest piece, just like in the G1. Um, we just need to, to fold that down a little bit, and that will allow us to uh, rotate this entire top half like so. And then we want to um, take it like this and take this part, fold it up like that and then rotate the hips 
back down. We'll get this back out of the way. Like so. And then we will take um, these are the arms. We'll unfold those, fold those out. Um, yeah, like so. Um, rotate the shoulders 180 degrees. Uh, and then fold this back. And then fold that down. Um, this, you need to open the cockpit. Um, and then push that piece this gold piece in and that'll rotate the fist out and then you close the cockpit back, cockpit back up um, and then you can adjust the arms however you like. Um, last but not least um, in the back here there's this black piece here you just want to take that entire black piece push it up and that will also push up the head um, and then you take the two halves here of his brain or his cone and then push them together like th like so. So he's got the cone head um, he's got these two little uh, pieces in the back just like in the G1 and I'll show you a picture to compare that um, and this is G1, oh, I'm sorry, Revenge of the Fallen, oh then we also want to fold up that chest piece there um, and then we have Revenge of the Fallen Dirge. Um, I think this is a very good homage to G1. Um, you can also take the missiles and they will, uh, missile launchers, and they will attach and uh, to the to the arms and you can attach them both ways just like in the G1. You can put them facing that, the missiles facing forward and you can have them with the missiles facing backward. Like that. Um, about the only negatives I have, oh, there also is the Mech Alive feature. If you rotate um, his shoulders, um, he does have r rotating chest plate or um, nipples, um, which was interesting. Um, but I do like the head sculpt a lot. I like the, the, the transformation. I think it's very cool. Um, it has, has awesome articulation. Uh, the, about the only negatives you can say is the, the, the hands really don't have any articulation. The wrists, is don't, the wrists don't rotate at all. Um, there's some minor kibble here um, with the um, cockpit here as well. Um, but um, that's totally fine with me. Uh, real quickly, I'm going to uh, transform G1 Dirge. Uh, it's very simple just to have the robots compared to each other. Basically, just take them all the way apart. Uh, we'll flip the feet down, push the arms out, rotate them around. Um, take the cockpit or the nose of the plane, flip it through. His arms in the way. And there we have Dirge. We have to put his fists on. Not quite as many pieces as the original um, the original seekers as we know. And then finally, we, as we said, we can put the missiles facing forward or backward. So you have G1 Dirge and Revenge of the Fallen Dirge. Um, I do like this figure. If you're not, um, um, if you're more of a G1 person, you might like this figure. It's not going to be G1, of course, but. Um, I think they did a pretty good job with it. So, um, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I really like this figure. I highly recommend it, um, even to G1 fans. Um, so, uh, this is Dr. Prime. Thanks for watching. Signing out.